All right, today we're gonna to be unboxing $90 worth of aquarium plants. Good day, everyone. Welcome back to another video. Today, uh, I just came home to this package that I've been waiting for only a couple of days, which is crazy to think. It's already here. So yeah, we got a bunch of live plants. I'm super excited to get through today. And then we'll be going through afterwards the system I'm gonna have on growing these plants without growing them in any of the aquariums. So I guess let's just dive straight into the unboxing. All right, so what did I actually order? What's really exciting about this box is that I ordered a mystery box. So this is basically just a mix of plants that they chose at the fish store. They don't actually have a location. They are more of an online business, I'm pretty sure. So you just order online and apparently they've got super great packaging and guarantees on healthy live plants. So I ordered the $80 mystery pack and then I bought one other plant for myself that I really wanted to get. They've got really rare plants there, so I'm excited to see what type of plants we're gonna get. Simple packaging, I like that because then it's easier to open instead of all that uh, complicated taping and stuff. So I'm just gonna rip it open. Ta-da! They gave me a thank you sticker. That's so nice of them. Wow, they've already got a pretty good rating for me so far. Has this got any tricks to it? No. Pretty sure it's just open, yeah. Well, this is uh, the first first look. Take this out of the box. Wow, we've got a lot of plants. Oh, wow. Well, I guess we've probably got about $100 worth in here. Oh my God, I can already see a couple like uh, labels. So what's really great about this as well is that they've labeled everything and they've said if it's a background plant, mid-ground, foreground, or other things like it's a floating plant, it's a carpeting plant, that sort of thing. Okay, I'm so excited. Let's, uh, let's open this up. If you ever flick through the website, they've actually got an incredible website worth checking out. So this bubble wrapping is great um, packaging. Yeah, they, they're really on top of the packaging and the preservation of the plants. All right, so they're just like in all these separate bags, which is very handy so that we don't have like mixtures where it's like which one's which, that sort of thing, because I'm not a whiz with aquarium plants. I do know quite a lot though. Okay, so the first thing we got, floating plant Hygrosa Aristata plus a free extra. I actually do not know what this plant looks like. Oh, well, I'm excited to um, take a look at that later. And I'm not gonna open them out now, but I'll put on a screen a photo of what they look like when they're matured. Yes, we got Subwasatang. Subwasatang. Subwasatang, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's a moss. Yeah, so they'll probably just float. I'll put it in here. Okay, the next plant we've got. Yes, red root floaters. I really wanted red root floaters and they put it in. So happy with this. I've only kept it once before and that was years ago when I didn't know how to take care of plants properly. Yeah, we've got a good amount here. Next up, we got a mid-ground plant, Rotala Wallichii. So I already have this in uh, my 90 liter, but I don't mind. So we got a nice clump of that by the looks of it. Six stems about. Oh, wow. This is great. Okay, so we got another foreground plant. I love foreground plants. We got Monte Carlo carpeting plant. This is awesome. We got, by the looks of it, we got three clumps of it. So that's going to be plenty for like an Iwagumi or something. So I'm excited about that. Okay, so the next one we got Limnophilia hyperidoides. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. This was the one that I chose specifically. This is a stunning aquarium plant, so really excited to try this plant out. Yeah, that's awesome. And then last but certainly not least, we've got Hygrophila deformis. It looks like a good amount in there too. This is another great aquarium plant. It's a background plant and it looks awesome. For now, these plants are just gonna stay packaged. And then what we're gonna be doing is making an immersed growth like container thing. So what we're gonna do is turn this old lizard container uh, into just like a plant greenhouse basically and we're gonna grow uh, most of the plants in here immerse in uh, there I've got an old light that I found for hard rubbish the other day that I'll use I'll show you the whole process and really happy with this I definitely recommend checking out Aquazon give them a try if you want uh, and you live here in Victoria so that'd be awesome but yes I'm going to pick up the camera later when I've uh, probably set up the hatchery I'll just show you explain to you how I did it and so yeah we'll see you then Okay, so it's about maybe five or six hours later. And so I made the greenhouse, I've planted, I've got the whole setup going now with the live plants. And I've also put some other plants like throughout the tanks too. So I'll show you quickly everything that's going on now with the new plants that I got, where I've put them and how this little greenhouse looks like at the moment. All right, so we've got our two tanks here and then below we've got our greenhouse. So this is actually pretty cool taking a look 
what's inside now since the humidity in here has made like the plastic go cloudy the glass so you can't really see as well but basically what we've got in here is this is the limnifolia hyperididoids whatever whatever it's called that's going to look amazing once it's like in an aquarium in a nice big bunch back there we've got the wisteria which is a hygrophila deformis a couple like little trimmings i just got off it that had the good old leaves that you expect in wisteria and then we've got a bunch of monte carlo back there hoping to get that nice and long and then we can put that in another tank and then we've got the uh rotala wallichii here i didn't know how to actually plant that because it doesn't really stay up straight but we'll see how that turns out but yeah i'll have to trim it and basically the system that we've got going on in um this container here so this is my old lizard container I've got one more container i'll probably do another container at one point of more monte carlo and maybe java fern uh but basically what i did in here was uh firstly i did a thick layer of potting soil it can be organic it could be anything really because it isn't in an actual aquarium at all if we are going to use soil with toxins and stuff in it then I will need to thoroughly rinse the plant before I actually put it into any aquarium. But other than that, it's fine when you're uh, immersely growing plants. Okay, so I put a two to five centimeter layer of potting soil. And then what I did was with a mixture of just aquarium water from the angelfish tank and a few drops of cecum flourish. I uh, then dampened the soil to make it nice and shiny and uh, really damp and moist. And so then after that, I added the plants, just planted them in, mainly with my fingers because my tweezers kept snapping the stems so that didn't work out. But with the Monte Carlo back there, it's, I've never really planted it before. I just uh, laid it out on the substrate and those pieces that did not get covered by dirt will grow out and we'll use those. Then what we did was I made a mixture, so in my spray bottle. In this spray bottle, it's just, once again, it's the same mixture. It's just aquarium water with Zecum Flourish. And yeah, so Seacom Flourish is a fertilizer, not Seacom Flourish XL, which is liquid carbon. But yeah, we put in the Flourish, the fertilizer. It's not the all-in-one fertilizer, but it's better than nothing. I don't have anything else at the moment. That's going to hopefully do the job. So there's lots of nutrients in here for the plants. And then we just got uh, this like light, this light that I found from Hard Rubbish. Found this from, uh, it's an Aqua One, uh, apparently an Aqua Style 380. So it's like part of a tank that I found also in Hard Rubbish, which we'll get to in a minute and um yes yeah, so this is a little setup i've got going on here i'll give it a spray down once a day and the light on about 12 hours a day and yeah it's a weak light but it's definitely a, a good light for this uh setting here okay so here we have our two different types of floating plants so firstly here we have the red root floater so that looks amazing absolutely love this plant here we've got the hygrosa aristata so this thing right here, it looks so weird actually. So it's got these like pods that uh, keep it afloat. If you see, you just let that float from above. The leaves look so nice. From below, to me, it doesn't look that great. It looks really weird. That's what it looks like from below. It's kind of weird. I'm gonna try give it a shot and see how I like it over time. And then we just got a bit of the wisteria growing here. Just thought I'd float a little, cause why not? And then I also planted a bunch back there too. It's also what we got today. And then next door, we have some more red root floaters cause I got so many. I think I got three bunches of red root floaters. So that's really awesome. And then the last plant is back there, some Sabwasa tank. I've had it in the 90 liter for years now, and I got it again. I still have a bit in the 90 liter. Not a huge fan of this uh, plant, as it has brought me issues in the 90 liter, like it just won't keep going away. I don't want that to uh, look in the tank at all. But with this bunch, I'm planning on uh, maybe making some cool shrimp hides and uh, just gluing or tying with cotton some Sabwasa tank to make a natural looking cave. The shrimp will love it. A little update on the moss ball that we made uh, about half a year ago, probably more. Actually, it's really nice. It's starting to grow these flowers, these little pods, really interesting. And then, yeah, the moss is growing actually. This is all just from the um, bowl. This is Java moss, so it's looking great. Uh, so yeah, those are the updates on all the plants that uh, we got today. So yeah, that's what we got today. Growing plants immersed is actually going to quicken the growth a lot because they're going to have unlimited access to CO2 in the atmosphere. And uh, as long as you have good lighting too, you can even just get away with having the sunlight reach the container or container once a day or something. And that's fine for like a couple hours. Um, if we move next door, we've got one more little thing I want to talk about. Since it's hard rubbish season at the moment, a lot of hard rubbish out on the streets, like furniture and stuff and guess what my mom found the other day a couple tanks and uh here's one of them was for, found for hard rubbish now it's actually in good condition i don't believe it has any holes in it these are just tanks that the person didn't really want 
didn't bother taking care of and so thought they just get rid of it by uh, putting out the hard rubbish. Not a bad tank, the light looks horrible. So I don't think I'll be using that at all if I can actually get it off. So yeah. That is a new little setup there. Pretty cool. We'll set it up at one point, but I've got other tanks that I want to rescape and stuff. So, but we should be seeing some significant growth out of these plants if we're successful over the next coming weeks. Probably within the next two weeks, we should see a difference if we have success. So, I will keep you updated in about the two week mark time, of course. Do my best as I haven't been that loyal with uploading videos lately. But thank you so much, Aquazon, for some amazing plants. I'm definitely going to order from them sometime soon. So, yeah, really happy with the shipping. Um, everything about it was amazing. So no downsides, plus really good price. So I can't complain. And I'm looking forward to seeing these plants grow, hopefully. And yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks so much for watching. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you all in the next video.